your portion of rent? Six hundred and ten dollars. Incredible for Austin, but that's with roommates and, and stuff. We got a backyard. Oh, it's a house. Yeah, it's a duplex. I got three oh, dogs, cool. so I need a backyard. Oh, very good. Very good. I have a puppy too, but he's in my bedroom. Oh, okay. so he didn't jump all over you when you came in. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, your portion of utilities. Um. So, uh, me and my brother are splitting it in half since my husband's not there, so he's not paying any of it. And usually, it's uh around this time. It's like between one fifty and like one eighty. portion. Oh, so my portion would so be a third of that? about like uh. 75 to you so you pay half yeah okay maybe 80 bucks i guess what's your car insurance um my car insurance well it freaking was 140 and then they canceled it because they didn't have i don't know it was weird like i put i had to get the insurance before i took the car home right because the dealer wouldn't let me take the car home and so i got it and then they sent me a letter in the mail saying like oh like we don't have your name on the title and i was like what are you talking about i just bought it but i guess it's because when i started the insurance like i wasn't on the title yet or something like that i'm not sure but anyways i just restarted it yesterday and i was playing phone tag with them because they kept me around and not doing anything and How then much it, is it went up to like 200 something maybe like 250 or something i can't exactly remember so i'm spend gonna on gas a month um maybe like like 60 or 70 dollars i don't have to 70, fill up very much yeah, yeah. So it is a very driving independent, like you need to drive in order to live in Austin mm -hmm. unless you're directly downtown or in the domain. Okay. So healthcare, is that through work? Um, I have my husband's health insurance, oh, so I don't pay anything. Sick. Other minimum monthly expenses. Um, oh, well, we have oh, the car payment. It was 280 I forgot my, so my gas bill is separate from my utility bill. That's oh, usually Oh, so you didn't like, include that? No, yeah, sorry, I forgot. That's it's okay. usually like twenty dollars, maybe for my portion. Okay, I'm gonna give you grocery spending, of which is what you're gonna be doing now, is getting groceries. Like a big girl of three hundred dollars, <laughs> and then I'm giving you toll paper, anything else you need for the house, makeup, all that good stuff. Hundred dollars. Do you think three hundred for groceries is enough for one and a half people? Because you have a kid. No, it's my younger sibling, but me and my brother, we, we just split the groceries in half. How old's your so, younger sibling? Like 16. Is he, is he the brother that you're talking about that splits the payments? No, no, no. So I, have, I have my older brother. Like, yeah. And then my younger sister. Younger sister is who you're taking care of. Yeah. Okay. And you and your older brother uh, both take part in this? Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Taking care of them and the younger sibling. Um, I don't really do anything except for get groceries and stuff. But and they he live is with the you? main, yeah. Okay. What's the situation there? Why is he living with you guys? Well, as we've established, my dad is weirdo. So um, my sister can't. Oh no, she's crazy. They're all crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to allocate just an additional, uh, since someone else is also helping to put into it, I'm going to have you put in it. It's, it's only groceries and other little things that you're helping with, or are you helping with more stuff too, like school supplies? And like, what are we, what no, does it look no, like? No, just, just, just food? food, yeah. I mean, I'll do the odd thing here and there, but um, I mean, I don't think it's really anything usually expensive okay like i'll get them pants sometimes but then i'm gonna put on a monthly basis an additional 250 bucks that you can put towards that a little more than i was gonna go but that's just in case there's pants and shoes and stuff like that so let's try to have that less this is yeah. you put towards the brother fund your right. portion okay and then uh you know whatever else comes from the other side is awesome too okay. i put it that as a max of 250 make it a little yeah. lower when you can but then when those odd things pop up that you should help with. Right. Um, you said 16 as well? Um, yeah. Okay. He can also start, you know, working on some Mickey D's if he wants to bring in some extra money. Right. Does exactly. he have a car? Um, no, it's my younger sister. Um, oh, or she. Actually, yeah. Sorry. No, he, she, she does she not have, have a, car? a car. No, she has a bike that's like electric and stuff. So she gets around that way? Yeah. And you're pretty close to things? Um, yeah, I would say so. Okay. Then it, she can start getting a job. As long as it does not detract from school and does not put her in like a bad mental health place with the balance between school yeah. and uh, stuff. But yeah. she can also help. Okay. Oh, I just want to frame this right. 
she does not necessarily need to be fully self sufficient right now, mm-hmm. but she can she can start gaining some of the skills and contributing. Yeah, but at, she's probably not going to because um, she's going into a self paced school right now, so she's trying to graduate a year early. So the kind of the plan was like Would just focus on school. Um, well, probably at the beginning of next year. Yeah, but by that time, I may be in San Diego, so it's kind of irrelevant to sure. me. Okay. Just one thing to consider going out there. I'm way on the outside of this conversation, so I don't want to make any immediate adjustments. Right. Just make sure as we're heading into the next year and heading towards 18, skills are good to learn. We do not right. want to be enabling anything. Of course not. Any leaning on people. Well, actually, leaning on family is good in a healthy way. I just want to make not sure. Not excessively, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, through a weird family situation that is currently there with parents that are not in the picture, I want to make sure she is fully successful when she hits that adult age in mm-hmm. our culture to go out and make a path of her own without having to rely on others. Right. right. Leaning healthily, healthily, health, in a healthy way on family and friends, totally good. Nothing wrong mm-hmm. with that. But just making sure that she's fully set up. Any other minimum monthly payments you can think of? Um, oh, um, you know, you should probably put on there. I have to pay. Let's see. Well, I buy a lot of dog food, so it probably comes out to like uh, 120 a month, maybe. I have big dogs. Typically, the way I do that is I put that in your own groceries. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I'm changing your food okay. budget to 400. Okay, that that works. I just get the H-E-B brand, so it's not too expensive. Okay. And you're canceling all your other subscriptions because you do not need them right now, like Netflix and all that shit. Of course, of course. I I don't really watch Netflix anyway, so I guess I don't need it. Who does at this point? (laughs) Okay, so your needs category comes out to $2,060, and after your raise... Not taking into account much overtime. Well, a little bit of overtime, but not much. Uh, after your raise, your needs category is 62% of your income. So that's, that's a too lot, much. Huh? Yeah. That's too much. Um, that's with also helping your younger sister. But even still, take that away, and you're still well above 50%. 50% should be the maximum that goes towards your needs. 50%. So okay. what we need to do here is... You know, when you're moving to San Diego, which is, I'm going to say, well, I mean, the income situation will change then, too, because you'll need another job. So it just gets weird. Essentially, what needs to happen right now is needs are cut somehow. Where do we make wiggle room in the needs? I don't know. I don't want you to, you know, starve yourself. I don't want you to not give your little sister what she needs. I don't want... You can't break leases or anything, so... Well, actually, we can break a lease because there's a clause in leases for people yeah, in the do you military want to, and is your brother going oh well he we already talked about it and he said he was fine to just stay at Wait, it sounds like a bad move? decision when to me but move? it's hard to tell right now because like everything the military tells us the next day turns out to be a lie so don't ever trust the military but uh, he's supposed to get he's gonna my husband's gonna graduate in august and then at that point he should be able to take maybe three weeks of leave and then we were gonna spend that time to move oh, but we have to quick. get on a wait list for the housing <sighs> so we're not even sure if we can move by that point we may have to wait longer so everything's kind of kind of cluster f- right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to make plans. It is. But I'm not going to screw myself and go to San Diego without a job or anything because, I no. mean, I have a good job here that I like, so. Well, your needs are obviously too expensive, but you do have $1,240 left over on a monthly basis with some overtime that's in there. Mm-hmm. So we can start making progress towards things, and we can have an emergency fund and stuff like that. But Yay. is there? Well, yeah, celebrate. But is there? But the amount of time that's necessary in order to get that is well beyond the when you would move, even if it's delayed a bit. Right. So it's like, okay. how much of a plan is going to be a plan right now? So should I just work some a bunch of overtime? Well, absolutely. Do you have the option to? Oh, work yeah, as much totally. as you want. Yeah, I can right. work as well, much as I want. You work a bunch. <laughs> work a bunch. Go okay. crazy. Stretch that to four thousand, four thousand five hundred dollars that's coming in net monthly. 
Net? Yeah. Okay. Go okay. crazy. Because you're working, what, 45 hours right now? Or something like that? 44 yeah, hours? Usually, 42? yeah, around there. Okay. Somewhere. Work 55, 60. 55, 60. Go crazy. Go crazy. Because you're moving... Let's get you in Might a as cl- well, right? let's get you in a clean spot. It doesn't matter right now. You're looking for distractions anyway at this point yeah. because you miss your husband and you're going and spending money right now. Let's use that time and just be making the money right now. Okay. So you're do- what? Yeah. Because the cool thing is, if you have an extra net two thousand dollars a month, I mean, just for the sake of moving and the expenses around it. You know, for two and a half months, save up $5,000, which is two and a half months of emergency fund for you right now. But that covers some of the moving expenses when that needs to happen. You know, putting down security deposits and stuff like that. Well, no, no, it's a, it's a. Yeah, because we don't really have to do. Base. The military will pay to move all of our stuff. Okay, maybe we um, save up $4,000 for a little extra safety net than we would normally have in this situation. But, but then. Everything after that four thousand dollars for these coming months, you're just putting it towards the car, putting it towards the car, trying to get the car balance. You know, after a few months, maybe down to six thousand, eight thousand dollars because you're just going crazy. But that's if you're here going crazy for like six months. I don't know if we're going to be here going crazy for a total of six months from now. I don't know because August that's coming up in a couple months. Yeah, and then you're yeah. thinking of moving like what? After that, so I, I I don't know. A lot of this depends on that, and then what the income situation living and then living expenses look like there. Obviously, the military is taking care of a lot of it, but you know, cost of things are also higher, as you mentioned with gas there. Mm-hmm. But rents in living shelter overhead is usually someone's biggest monthly expense anyway, and that's not something you're gonna have to worry about. So. You should really work like crazy when you're there. Just go wild in whatever position you're in. Even if you're making a little less money, you know, hopefully your needs category will be less. It should be maxed out at 50% anyway, but it shouldn't even be getting close to 50% with the situation you're in at that point. Mm -hmm. And everything else should be getting this car paid off. Because then you're going to have your car fully owned, owing nothing, which will be very fun, very good. And then... How much do you have in your 401k right now? I believe it's like $600. Like, I had just started. The exciting part is you're 22, and usually I get on people here who are in their 30s and stuff like, oh, you missed your best decade of compound growth. I mean, by the time you're out of the car and... uh, Ah, the income. I don't know what your income will be. It's so hard. But your expenses will be less. What I want to see is a fully funded emergency fund, which is six months of living expenses, minimum $10,000 in case a car breaks or something like that or a medical thing happens. Minimum $10,000 and the car paid off by the time you're, you, it was just your birthday, right? Mm-hmm. So you're like 33 and a half. I want to see So a year and a half from now, I want to see the car gone on a fully funded emergency fund. And I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do that. Especially if before you leave to move, just go insane. Go insane and work 60 hours a week. 